Growing concern this afternoon over the type of weapon used to murder some people in Chicago. The same guns being used for wars like in Afghanistan are now on the streets of Chicago. Many say that's helping fuel the high murder rate here. CBS 2's Mai Martinez takes a look at the damage assault rifles can do. Gang beefs are turning some Chicago neighborhoods into war zones. One conflict led to four people shot to death in a car in Brighton Park. The weapon used, an assault rifle. In his 32 years at Stroger Hospital, Dr. Richard Keene has treated thousands of gunshot victims. These days, he's seeing more patients shot by the high-powered weapons. We're seeing individuals that are shot five, six, even ten times. The amount of resources that's required to manage these patients is substantial. What kind of strain does that put on an ER when you have several patients coming in with all the same kind of wounds? You have to end up triaging. The most severely injured will get the most attention. How devastating are these wounds that you're seeing from the assault rifles? Uh, a lot of those are immediately lethal. Keen says that's because a bullet fired from an assault rifle is far more powerful than one fired from a handgun. He says a good example is when a bullet hits a bone. If it's a handgun, uh, the fractures are rel relatively straightforward to fix. If it's hit by an assault rifle, the bone shatters into um, 30 pieces. The damage to tissue and organs is even worse. The pressure wave will cause uh, injuries, almost like a car crash. And Keene says the wounds are much larger. A standard gunshot wound maybe make a hole the size of your small finger, like a handgun would make a, a small hole, but an assault rifle you would probably put most of your, maybe your whole hand into the wound. Even with the best trauma network in the world, sometimes you can't do enough fast enough or the injuries are just absolutely unrepairable. My Martinez, CBS2 News. Dr. Keene says patients who do survive being shot by an assault rifle often face lifelong issues and a compromised quality of life.